Okay, we're going to be doing the whip stitch. Here are my six colors of size 11 beads that we're going to make our pattern with. And I'm using Fireline, six pound. And I'm using a size 12 needle, which normally I use a 10 needle for the lazy stitch. But because this is such wonderful leather for these kit bags, I don't need it. So I'm using a smaller one. Okay, so for now I'm going to put these beads out of the way so I can put my sewing in front of myself. Okay, let's get this right where you guys can see. And I have my threaded needle and I've put it up right there and left kind of a long tail because I'm going to hide. I'm going to kind of hold it down like that and hide the tail and the knot underneath the lazy stitch. This is eight beads that we use to make this pattern. So I'm going to start with eight pan. I can double check. We've got eight and eight beads on there. And then you just whip it around the leather. That's why it's the whip stitch. And come right up next to where you went up the last time. Then you go one black and seven tan. As you can see, I'm holding this little tail kind of flush to the bag just so I make sure that it's getting hidden underneath the beads. Coming up right next to the other beads that I put on there. One white, one black, and six tan. Now we're starting to make our pattern. A lot of counting with the whip stitch. Make sure you got that right in the right location. I don't pull too tight. I just tight enough to cinch it down. And this is the most difficult part of it because you're not on the felt yet. Once you're on the felt, you can, you're able to butt up right against that bead and it makes it guide you along better. So you just kind of have to do this part yourself. One gold, one color line, one white, one black and four tan.
you know we're starting with the turquoise gold color line white black and three tips And this will get easier as you go along because you won't be wrangling such a long thread. But I don't want to have to tie off too often, so I like to start with a little bit longer thread. Two turquoise. I'm going to be making a little pyramid here. That's why I'm putting two turquoise on. One gold. One color line. One white. One black. And two tan. Can't get in a hurry with beadwork. It is a time consuming little project. Three turquoise, one gold, one color line, one white, one black, and one tan. Four turquoise, one gold, one color line, one white, and one black. We're already done with the tan, but this is the last before we reverse because we want to keep that little pyramid with the turquoise. So now that we have four turquoise on there, we'll be reversing the pattern. And that is the last of the tail there getting covered up now so you don't have to think about that any longer All right three turquoise one gold one color line one white one black and one tail Alright, we're moving on to the felt. That is the last stitch that I'll be taking that's just plain leather. Now we're going to be tacking the felt down. Let's hide Robert's little knot there. So you can see we've got our pattern made.
All right, now, see, I'm not crazy about that little gap there. That's sort of because I'm going from leather to uh, felt, but I think I'll do it over. So I take the needle off the thread and just pull it back it back out. Pay a little closer attention when I put it up, get it more snug. Pretty easy to get distracted when you're whip stitching along. So you have to just always be aware. And a little tip for how I thread my needle is, I put the thread in my fingertips like that, and then I just position the needle down on the thread in between my fingers. Okay. Let's go. Here we go, and I'm going to get a little closer this time. I didn't like seeing that little gap there, even though it doesn't have to be perfect. The overall look will be great. But that's snugger. I like that better. All right, moving on to one color line, one white, one black, and five blue. One white, one black, six tan. And now I'm at the gold line there, which is a nice way to be able to see where you're coming up. So you can see we have just a gorgeous little pattern just by changing the color of the beads. One black and seven tan. We're about done hiding Robert's knot. And now we're back to 810, and that's the completed pattern, and you're just going to repeat that over and over on down the line. So that's the demonstration of the whip stitch. And I will come back to it when I'm at the center point so you can see how I go through the thongs. But look, beautiful. Okay, bye.